everyone, it's Miss Lynn from Amelia Park Children's Museum. And this week we're going to read a book together. It's called Mirror, and it's written and illustrated by Jeannie Baker. First thing I'm going to do is read a note to you from Jeannie Baker, the author. And it tells you a little bit about what we're going to see in the pictures. There are two boys and two families in this book. One family lives in a city in Australia, and one lives in Morocco, North Africa. The lives of the two boys and their families look very different from each other, and they are different, but some things connect them. Just as some things are the same for all families, no matter where they live. So, and it's called Mirror. One of the reasons, not only do they have common ground with a lot of the things, but right here we have the Australian in English language, and over here the Moroccan is in Arabic. But they still both say the same thing, just different languages. Okay, so the first page shows something that we all do. We get up out of bed in the morning to start the day. So over here in Australia, you can see the little boy gets up, the baby, his little brother, and then he climbs back into bed with his mom. And over here in Morocco, the little boy gets up and the very first thing he does, it looks like he prays. In the next page, as the day progresses, next thing they do, they have breakfast. And over here you can see in Australia, the little boy is very well provided for. They have all the food right out of their refrigerator and you can see all the different foods on the table that they're eating. But over here, this is their breakfast. It looks like they have to prepare a lot of their own foods. They have to milk the cows, they have to collect the eggs, and they have to make their own bread. Now, on the next page, it shows oh, they're going into town. So the little boy in Australia goes into town in his car. And you can see Sydney, Australia, which is a very busy downtown area and city. Look at it, all the stuff going on. Whereas the little boy in Morocco goes to his downtown, his market area on a donkey. And you can see the landscape's all different. Totally different parts of the world, each one. And here, you can see all the hustle bustle of this city with all the cars. In Australia. And over here, we have the Moroccan boy at the market. And you can see more donkeys. And, you know, a few vehicles and a few buildings. But it certainly looks, the landscape looks much different than this. Very busy here. Not so much here. And here goes into shopping. Looks like he's picking out some pipes. And a lot of varieties and things to choose from. And then over here in Morocco, you can see the sheep, and you can see all the barrels filled with spices. What else can you see in the picture? And so even though they're shopping and they're doing and looking at different things, this particular page, what do you see here that you also see? Here's Australia, here's Morocco. What do you see that's the same on both pages? See how the rug, he's looking at the same exact rug in Australia as the little boy and the people are in Morocco. 
worlds. I mean, just so far apart. And yet, it looks like they're buying and looking at the same thing. So, on the next page, we have more shops and we have many more vehicles, types of vehicles, a very, very busy area. Whereas here, they're going, looks like they're going back home and they're crossing through fields. You can see the green, probably where they grow their, their food. And then the mountains in the back. So they're all done running errands. They go back to their places where they live, and now they're about to have supper. And you can see what's on the table there and over here again. A lot of the food probably they make themselves. Do it in a different way. So oftentimes we assume just because of where somebody lives, where they come from, of certain things. But in this picture, I think it's funny because here we have the little boy in Australia sitting on the, the new rug showing his mom and dad his picture on the floor. Whereas, here's the little boy in Morocco, and he's sitting with his computer on the table playing video games. Does that surprise you? And so, that is the end of the story, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you join me again next week for another great book. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you.